Nigga shit, that's why your bitch like me VVs and my groupies keep long I'm that nigga, I can't let a nigga try me I'm hype, poppin' hot shit, come and find me Y'all nigga shit, that's why your bitch like me What's up guys, um, today is just a talk again, this is a long time that I actually done this, just talk, you know, which are no reactions today, so don't ask me down below, react to this, right? no, just a talk bro, like, um, I know so, so many people are struggling with different things that people don't talk about, especially the guys nowadays, this, this generation of dating is just is stuck or is dead it's not dead but it's just it's not there you know like for me as a guy it's so hard to just find the right one and i'm not that guy that just want to know her better look at her intentions I want to know if we match i want to look at the future as well like you know people talk about looks most of the time but looks is not the most important stuff the most most important stuff is what you got inside so if you got a girl that got like a beautiful mentality yeah her inside so beautiful i think for me it's really important to just know her mentality and her kindness and her her loveness will teach my son or my my uh my my daughter like how to be in life so i think that's really important and i feel like in this generation you don't see that really man i'm not gonna lie bro like for my for my eyes the, the girls that i'm talking to are like don't know what they want like you know and like they they love to play you know they love to play with people hearts and stuff and with their minds so um story time i just actually uh, i was on a festival uh, i think a month ago and uh, i saw a beautiful girl you know she was you know she was she had a great energy so i actually made a video tiktok video um with her like a video of, like that i'm holding her hand and stuff and because actually i saw her as he was making pictures then um yeah i just walked through and uh yeah i said let me let me take pictures and i, I started taking pictures with her phone so uh <laughs> we made crazy pictures but uh yeah then i said um yeah can you send me this so she airdropped the pictures actually to me then um i told her like i don't know what your name is so how can i find you and she said um uh, my name is on the airdrop bro that's this cat you know but i said then okay i know you're lying but i'm gonna find you you know she said okay cool cool no problem okay so fast forward uh two days later i actually made it crazy i was like in the train you know, on my way to home and uh i saw i saw a guy that i knew and i actually showed him the pictures and i told him bro i'm gonna look for her and he said bro bro do your thing you know do your thing bro but uh, I saw a trend as well, like a trend that people were looking for a girl that they saw. They they were telling like the details. That that's weird, okay. But uh, for me, I got the pictures. I know her face, but I don't know her, I don't know her name. So yeah, I did that. It went viral, crazy viral, 45k um, views. That's crazy. You see, actually, they end me as he saw the video and he said, "Bro, take it off." Da -da -da. And so we was talking, you know, I was, <laughs> you know, just talking and then she, uh, she gave me her number. Then we was talking on uh, WhatsApp, who's was calling as well. And uh, I was just like, bro, let me, let's see wh where this goes, you know. So um, we actually made a date and we chilled that day. And we was like maybe an hour on the phone. That was so chill. That was so fine because I actually... I just felt it, you know, a different energy, a different vibe of her. Um, she, she had different goals as well. And she just, and she was, for my eyes, she was just different, you know, not something that I used to with girls these times. So I was, you know, kind of wondering like, okay, okay, I, I liked it, you know. So uh, we actually went to a date then, it was chill, it was fine. What a great vibe. I thought, you know, first date, bro, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not going to a crazy big restaurant. I'm not gonna eat because 
bro like we don't know each other yet and i just i know i don't feel like you deserve it yet to be taken out to a great big restaurant you know so i thought let me let's just eat ice cream first and let's just walk and so we did that actually and um it was chill it was calm uh, i learned like kind of a lot of her in a, in a short time she was really open so that was dope but uh, yeah after that just went to home um then i think 10 minutes later she actually texted me like i'm home right now it was a great time i hope you're home as well and uh have a nice day thought bro at that moment oh that's crazy bro because you know nowadays like i said it's really hard to just see that bro like i've been to many days right now and some girls they don't even text you like that bro like you know are you great home how was your day oh, that was that was nice so actually my feeling went higher you know higher straight higher so okay i thought you know let me let me give her give her a message because i'm not really like that i'm more calm i just want to wait a day or two but um you know i was talking with a friend he told me bro just text her bro just text her right away because if you text her it's more like you increased her love for you you know so you actually know that you really like her so i was like bro i don't really roll like that but oh let me try this so the next day um like she like late night uh i texted her like you know how was your day and stuff um uh, hope you're right um keep your head up because i know she was like really really stuck with her head um the day that i saw her so, like really stuck with her head like her job and stuff so i i was like you know keep her keep her head up like you know keep your head up do your thing you got this so um she sent me back actually you know, I think late night other morning i saw the message and uh she was like oh that's so sweet thank you that means so much to me and uh i really appreciate it and uh yeah i hope your day was good as well so uh, that, that 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 was a great feeling for me because i feel like I felt like okay this is a great line we're going great but i don't want to talk too much i'm not the guy that really love to talk too much with a girl on text so i just want to see you it's like i feel like these types people are more confident on social media and i'm not like that i'm more a more real life guy you know the texter like yo we need to call and uh, so i actually it's, it's easier to explain but because through text it's, it's it's different man people can ignore it or you know can think about it but true call is like much harder to just think about so i thought you know let me let me just let me just call you no know, let's talk so further than we just talked on the cell phone cool, da, 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 da. and then she she said like yeah i just i just came home um i'm kind of tired um let's let's talk soon once he said soon I didn't hear um I'll call you tomorrow let's talk tomorrow we will call soon and I had that soon I was like <laughs> I was like I was kind of feeling down because like I said I thought this girl is different you know I didn't have feelings or stuff but it was upcoming you know and it's crazy I was like okay you know upcoming feelings were coming cool boom then soon i'm like soon what soon well, what is soon like bro soon like i'm not that guy i'm not that guy like soon i know people are busy in the world but you're not that busy okay you're not the president of air force you're not the president of london yeah i don't know if you're london president but you're not the president or you're not the mrs miss president you don't got you, you got something to do but you don't got all things to do that's that's kept and i feel like these times people are like 24 7 on their phones so i actually knew like i had a feeling already like okay now nah, she's, she's playing games right now so uh i was just okay you know six five days i didn't text her 
and uh, I, I was just talking with my people around me and uh, I heard different things like you know I had, I had advice from my girl as well and I had advice from my, my great mate as well so um, I actually made a decision about both ways because this these people were really like um, more positive about her like you know maybe you need to give her some time like she's she's really on a business right she's really struggling you know she got a, she got her own place and stuff she's she's really on a different mindset right now so i was like okay you know they write i think they write you know let me let me just listen and let me just text her after six days so after six days i texted her so i texted her like you know hey how are you doing like bro she saw the message she saw the message after six hours she just reacted and bro um like i said i know people are busy but you're not that busy you're not that busy like you saw the message so i know you're not that busy and i thought that was so disrespectful you know and at that moment i already knew like nah nah but that, you know i had a feeling bubbling as well i thought like you know if a girl playing like hard to get some different motion but i had like feeling like you know if you want a girl that you really like you want actually she's not easy to catch you know so i thought okay you know she's not easy to catch okay that that's that's a good thing right but yeah, she was like, she was, she was a different, not easy to get. She's like a hard to get, you know. It was so disrespectful. And uh, yeah, that, that really hurt me. Man. No, I'm not gonna lie, that really hurt me. Because I was, I was so positive about her, you know. Like things that I saw actually. But one thing that I saw about her, one thing that I really, really saw about her, is like, I didn't, I couldn't read her. You know, I couldn't read her when I was with her. I saw the positive parts, the energy, but I couldn't really read her. Like, you know, what are you on? Like, you know, what are you on? Like, I know I see a good side, but I'm not gonna lie, I, I don't believe it 100%. And yeah, my intentions was was right because after that, I just I don't you know. I'm, I'm kind of like. Mm, uh, I was like, bro, I don't, I don't trust in love anymore, you know, after that. But one thing that I did actually, um, I sent her a message. That's one thing I regret still, but yeah, I did it. I just had, I had the balls to do it. I told her, listen, just see how you're moving right now. Don't, don't think I'm dumb, you know, see how you're moving. I see how you're talking. Tell me what, what you thought about the date that day and, um, be be honest with me you know be be honest be open with me because guys need that as well stay open with each other bro don't 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 let people waste their time you know think about stuff and like in reality she don't even like you like that so she, she, she was honest she was actually honest and uh yeah she said yeah i didn't like the date and uh, you know i think we are not for each other so it's gonna shut down there and i don't want to give you hope when she said that i don't want to give you hope i was like bro who do you think who do you think you are like you know who do you think you are want to give me hope like so yeah that was crazy but um yeah it was a great it was it was really a great um experience that i actually saw and um i think i'm more on my guard right now you know i'm more on my guard right now and um i'm just wanna really when i'm talking with a girl right now i really wanna know like how she is like um if if i see that flags you know i really know i'm gone you know the red flags i know right now i know the red flags right better that's actually the story time and uh so yeah i'm happy right now you know just myself focusing on myself and um you know the right one will come at the right time so yeah that's actually the story time um tell me down below what you saw or what you've been through it's your boy on pierre aka from the air first air first yeah